what percentage of people think a woman is to blame if she is raped while drunk? It's actually 28%. Uh, but first, at what point is a woman too drunk to consent to sex? If you were unconscious, you would be incapable of consenting to sex, that is for sure. Two years ago, the, the, the law accepted that you girls could be open-eyed, awake, but still too intoxicated to consent, to give your consent. It's up to a jury to decide just how drunk and incapacitated that point is. Now, yesterday, a chef from Kent was cleared of raping a lawyer who claimed she was too drunk to remember actually having sex, let alone whether she consented or not. She consumed some five bottles of wine before they started kissing. He said she uh, walked upstairs unaided, uh, performed a sex act on him, and even helped him undress her. He thought her actions indicated her consent. She appeared to enjoy herself. And yet when she woke with him lying next to her the next morning, she cried rape. The predominantly female jury, though, disagreed with that claim that she was too drunk to consent, and he was cleared. So, should drunkenness ever be an excuse for shameful behaviour? Don't we all, as adults, have to take responsibility for our actions, including what happens when we consume something which affects our minds? Uh, I have had blackouts when I'm on the lash. It is not something I am proud of. Uh, on one particular occasion, I went from bar to bar, chatted to different people, friends and strangers. I walked six miles home, despite having the cab fare in my pocket, and I have no memory at all of that evening. Now, if I'd attacked someone and I'd been nicked for it, I would have to accept my guilt, even though I couldn't remember doing anything wrong. And don't forget, by the way, the man in the rape case, you know, he was innocent. At the same time, though, if someone had beaten me up as I staggered home, I would also accept that it was partly my fault for not being compass enough to avoid trouble. So should sex be a different case? Should someone who is conscious at the time of sex be allowed to claim later they were too drunk to know what they were doing? Some might say, of course, the safest course of action is never to have sex with someone who is drunk. But how drunk is drunk? Five bottles? Not according to the jury yesterday. What about a glass of baby sham, Lowry? I mean, it's, it's a question of degree, but I have no idea where, this, where no, the degree and I, is. And I think nobody else is going to think it varies, you know, um, you know, it depends on, how, is the person used to drinking a great yeah. deal? It depends whether you've eaten a meal. It depends how long over the time you've been drunk. You, you know, all of those issues. Um, I thank goodness that I don't drink anymore because, you know, just the, it's terrifying. <laughs> there are things that you get yourself into. Yeah. I mean, I, I hear this thing about, you know, women cry rape. I think, interesting, it's a female jury cleared this guy, because mm. women can be very hard on other women. And when I think back to when I was but younger... But equally, you could just as easy turn around and say men could be very hard no, on women. No, I think, on, no, on I think, I think women can be very hard. And I think... When, I, I'm trying to think back to, to when I was younger and perhaps a bit more stupid about this, getting myself into situations. And I've been in situations where... I've never been raped, but I've been in situations where I've been under huge pressure to have sex with somebody. Perhaps I've been on a few dates with them and he got to the point where he's kind of tired of waiting. And... Um, and I, and I think, actually, those, in those situations, he, though, so some of those guys haven't behaved very well. Mm -hmm. And I haven't said it was rape, and I blame myself. And I think an awful lot of... We know that the number of women who report rape is very small compared to the number mm -hmm. of women who actually suffer it. So I think, on the whole, a lot of women do blame themselves for getting into those situations and do say, I was is stupid, I got I mean, drunk. Is that fair? I, 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 think, I think we have to take responsibility for our own actions. I think... Women are taught to take responsibility for men's desire for them. And women are taught to say, well, it was my fault I was wearing a short skirt, it was my fault I'd had a drink, it was my fault I led him, it was my fault I let him walk upstairs, it was my fault I offered a coffee. We do that automatically. To have the courage to actually go into court and allege it when your case is so incredibly weak makes you quite brave, either very mad or quite brave. In this case, of course, we have to remember he was found not he was found not he was found not guilty, but that's because the jury accepted his version of events. Her version was that she was out cold, she was asleep, yeah. and she woke up. Now, in a situation where a woman is so drunk she's asleep, to me it seems very clear you do not have sex with a woman who is actually unconscious. Everything else, as a woman, you put yourself in danger, and as a man, you put yourself yeah. in danger of being. Of I think having he claimed she wasn't unconscious. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. And yeah, this there, is was, there was a flatmate there who was with them uh, up until the hour home, before, though, and she, she went yeah. home. Yeah. I mean, to me, this is crystal clear. This case, technically. Well, like I said the, the case. The case has been decided. The chef is clear. There's a separate yeah. issue, of course, that the chef's face is all over the papers. But that's the serious. Just on this notion of, the law accepts that. At a certain point, a woman can be deemed too drunk to consent. Unconscious is clearly mm. at one end of the scale. At what point does do we enter the grey area? I mean, how, how many women have you drunk? met who are drunk sometimes and amorous? 
I mean, it happens, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Of course it does. And to me... The, the, but what the, is drunk? You know, is a glass of wine drunk? Is it a well, bottle of wine? Is it five well, bottles of wine? Yeah, for different people, different, you know, amounts, of course. And what would happen if he didn't know the person and he only met that night and had gone back? And, had, and so he didn't know what her tolerance level was. You understand? So he didn't know an in-depth of her personality. How do you know, for example, if in my little blackout walk, people are talking to me, they don't know when they're talking to me that I don't, I'm not going to remember a thing about it. Mm. So at the time, at the moment of, 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 of sex, that you could appear fully compass, uh, having a dialogue, uh, appear to be explaining yourself properly, but the next day have no recollection of it whatsoever. But in the same way as when you were really drunk and you were doing that walk home, had you dropped your keys outside your house and had somebody, a stranger, helped you, opened your front door, got you inside, shut the door behind you, you would be very grateful for the kindness of that person, wouldn't you? And one would hope, or all of us who At had children... At the time, children, but the on. next day might not remember well, it. Well, that's not the point. The fact is there was a kind... somebody was kind to you. And I think in this situation, that if the woman is really drunk, the guy says, you know what, actually, the, the kind, the chivalrous, the good thing to do here, and there is de the decent yeah, yeah, thing yeah, is yeah. not to sleep Except with this woman. He's if, also if drunk, he's of as drunk as her, yes, yeah. yes, you're both I agree, in the same but, position. But I still would hope for the, yeah. for the yes. kindness well, of the chivalry. Uh, yes, I, it's, it's an And when you see those pictures it... of those girls passed out on park benches, my heart says, why doesn't somebody wrap a coat around that girl, put her in a taxi and take her home? My heart, why my brain helping? says, pull yourself together, mm. yeah. stop making Absolutely. such a but fool of yourself. she's somebody's daughter. Yeah. She's somebody's yeah. daughter. Yeah. Mm. But we meant to okay, record okay. it these days, okay. or what? Okay, okay, <laughs> let's, um, let's throw it open to you. Uh, at what point is someone too drunk to consent to sex, Amy? Okay, let's start with Jane first on line two, then. Jane, good morning. Hello. Good morning. So, your thoughts, please, Jane. Um, well, I have actually been raped, and it was 20 years ago when I was 18, and my, I was out drinking with friends, and my drink was spiked with liquid acid, and right. I was remember the journey home, and, and obviously was unconscious from that point, and, and I was raped. And I feel, and in the same respect, I've also worked with a young man who was accused of rape, and for 18 months his life was made hell. Yeah. And on the day of the court case, she denied everything while she sat there in the jury box and so lives can be destroyed by it and I think it's a it's a very very difficult area because there as someone who's been raped there are degrees of rape and yes. the most obvious is what being raped through violence aggression yes. and force and that's very clear cut especially when there's physical evidence but I think as women you have to take responsibility you can't it's like saying oh I'm pregnant but never having bothered to provide or take contraception. Yes. It's too easy for us. We live in a society where it's very easy to blame everybody else. We don't seem to be wanting to take responsibility for our own actions. And, um, you know, I, I, I'd like to say, I, I've been in, like Lowry, in a position where I have been a bit tipsy and uh, taking, this is a long time ago, after I'd been raped about six years afterwards, taking somebody home and been in a position where um, it wasn't on the cards in my head, but have gone upstairs and they've been buck naked in my bed. And I've had to think, think quickly because the situation I had to get myself out of. Yeah. And I, I luckily did by picking up all his clothes and his wallet and chucking them out the window. Good move. But the, but the fact of the matter is, it's, it's unforgivable for women to wake up. I, I don't think alcohol or drugs is an excuse. And it's, you know, you have to accept the consequences of your actions that led you down that path in the first place. Jane, 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 not... Jane, just so I'm clear on this, you are, you are saying that if a woman... Because then we move into this difficult area here, which is that if a woman consumes alcohol, uh, then it puts... that she is... she's effectively putting herself at risk. She's effectively putting herself at risk, but it's not probably the first time she's got in that state. That's and it's true. probably not the first time that she degrees of drunkenness that have led to sex. And I think... You know, as women, we wake up in the social consequences of having one night stand, of getting drunk, of doing things that normally you wouldn't do if you were fully compassionate. There's no excuse to turn around and point the finger. You just have to really bite that bullet, I think, okay. and accept that that's a learning curve for you, that you don't get in that situation if you don't like how it makes you feel the next day. OK. Strong words, but coming from someone who has been through what you've come through, I ain't going to argue with them, Jane. Thank you.